Hello stamping friends, it's Sharon Armstrong. I'm using the Wetland stamp set on this video. It is a great stamp set for those masculine cards that sometimes are hard to come up with. We're going to be making this card and as you can see it's fairly simple but you know what, when you're making cards for guys they don't like all the frou-frou and glitter and ribbons and such so it's all good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my sentiment on my soft suede card base and I am using Thinking of You from that stamp set. I'm using black stays on. Um, you know, Stampin' Up! sells several stamp uh, black stamp pads and this is just my go-to. I don't know. I. I tend to like it better than some of the others sometimes and I really think it depends on what your um, project is as to which one you need. I like to hold my stamp on there and really let that ink transfer over. And then I want to grab my Big Shot I'm using the wood grain folder and I have to be honest with you I had to trim mine down so that it would go through my big shot this way okay you may not want to do that but you know what it's my folder and I needed to do that so I did <laughs> um, I want the logo up because that's going to give me the deeper texture and I'm just going to line that up on the edges Take out my cutting plate. Speaking of cutting plates, I like to use one set of cutting plates just for embossing. You can tell it's worn, but there's no cut marks in it like from the dies. Okay, get that out of the way. So now just the front of my card is embossed with that wood grain look. Okay, pretty masculine looking already, isn't it? All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to stamp and I'm using Whisper White paper and I believe, let's see, I hmm, can't remember. I think this was like four by three and a quarter. I don't know, I don't remember exactly. Um, let's see, so I want my seagrass. No, that's not called seagrass. I don't know. I need to look that up. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp one right here. And then I wanted some more grass. So I kind of did a few like this. And then, who watched this? I thought this was pretty cool. I turned the stamp upside down. And I stamp some more just to give me more of a grassy look. And what's so fun is you can go back and add some more taller ones. Just kind of build it. There's no such thing as a mistake. So if you don't like it one way, you can always flip it over and turn it on the back and do some more. But I think I'm pretty happy with that. So there you go. Now you see a nice clean image. So now I want my I think he's a mallard duck. I don't hunt ducks, so I'm not real sure. And then I'm going to put him right here. Oops. And you'll notice that he has some grass too. Let me stamp that a little bit better. So I could have turned the stamp upside down even with this one and stamped some more grass. It's all good. All right, so then I decided, how do I color? What do I want to color? I took my sponge and my soft suede ink, and I just kind of burnished to kind of give it a sandy look. And then I just kind of softened it up a little bit. And that's all I did. I decided that was good enough. I'm going to mount this 
on my basic black layer. And then I want my dimensionals. If you know me, I love dimensionals. I just feel that the dimensionals really give it more texture and depth, and I like that. Digging my nails in releases those backings a little bit better, not just for the video, but for just for ease of letting go. And then I'm going to mount this like that. There you have it. I love it. I hope you do too. I'll see you on the next video. Look at how far we travel.